Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Banished on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Thanks for all the support on the series. Glad you're enjoying my first try here at a simulation game. I, I think I've mentioned numerous times that uh, it's been a long, long time since I have played uh, one of these kinds of games. So I started another town called Griggstown, but I'm, we're going back, of course, to Condoria. Let's see, which one is it? This one right here. We'll go back to Condor. I keep working on it. A couple of big tips that came in last episode that I really appreciate. Number one is, and I, let's go ahead and pause everybody right now. I was unaware that I could actually go into... We have to go around town, get used to town where everything is again. Uh, where's our woodcutter at? Oh, you know what? The woodcutter was like over here or something, right? Yeah, we had to cross the water to get going. Here's our woodcutter. Now, it shows one of one here. I'm guessing I've got a total of three, but I can actually increase the number of people I can have in this one woodcutter hut. Is that right? Anyways, uh, well, how do I do that? It says one of one. I've got a total of three woodcutter shacks and three woodcutters. Can I just come in here and do that? I can. So they're going to add, it's going to add an extra woodcutter in. So I could have done that at the beginning uh, when we were playing uh, at the start there. I could have actually told it. I said, hey, I want two people to get in this woodcutter's hut and do some woodcutting. Uh, I guess I'm guessing the same thing applies to Forrester. I can increase the number of people I can actually have out here too in some of these buildings here. The gatherer, yeah, I can increase. I thought it was saying one of four, so I could have up to four people inside here. When I built a second one, I've got two in here and two in the other, and it just divided them automatically. So that's where... That is a that's a good help to know right there. Yeah, because I got a woodcutter here and a woodcutter here. I really don't need this guy at all, really. I could just uh, double up in this one. Add, uh, tell it to add more people. What does it say? Up to, is it up to three? I could do more. Anyways, um, I could have multiple people working in this. Also, that applies to the crop fields too. That we could have multiple workers in here as well. You guys have mentioned that maybe I'm not getting, I'm probably not getting my full yield because the worker can't do the entire field on their own. So that's interesting. Wow, we really managed to expand a long ways out here in four hours of flight time, huh? And we got our sheep yard put in right here, correct? This is where our, yeah, that's our pasture for our sheep that we bought off the trader. Thank you for letting me know on the trader too that I can sell him our goods as well. It's not just about trading, I can sell him our goods. So that's a good thing to know as well. Yeah, I'm learning all kinds of things about this this game right now, and I appreciate everybody's help for sure. Hello, Shelly. So there we go. Uh, let's check on, how's our food stores? We have 7,500 food, 1,800 firewood. We got two logs and 87 stones. So it looks like the quarry is starting to pay off here. We have a total of seven people cutting stone, two miners. Uh, having an extra trader would probably be nice, but I'm going to hold off on that. We have six laborers and two builders. That's important to know. And ten farmers. I've got ten people working ten different fields. I wonder if it'd be better to take uh, five of the fields off and put two workers in each of five fields. And then when we get more population in, add, uh, get these fields back into production. Or should I just have everybody out here just doing what they can do at the moment? One thing I did notice is that our yield... It improves each year pretty pretty well although this one here is a little low we had 700 peppers in that field last year um, I feel like and I believe what is the case is that the school we have people being educated and education means they wind up right here we have a total of 12 students right now which is fantastic they become better farmers when they come out and better at their trade maybe it's all trades I'm not sure about that but I've I have read and I think I've heard that it's the farming especially How's the cemetery? 16 to 35 graves. So we're going to need another cemetery here pretty soon, too. Um, all right. So looks like we're coming at the what, we're in autumn. We're getting our harvest in. We also know now that disease does spread candy corners. So we do need that corn seed. If I can get a corn seed. Oh, it's also said that if you buy a corn seed, that means you have access to corn from then on. That's why it's the 2,500. I was trying to figure out how is one corn seed going to help me out. <laughs> but... I guess if you grow one corn plant, you can get thousands of seeds. Hey, Morris. So let's um, get them going again. What speed am I on? I'm going to go ahead and slow it down a little bit. It's on times one. We'll go on times two, and we'll get everybody back to work. What were we working on? 
at the moment. We had a second fishing hut coming up. We've got somebody in there. See there again, I could have put, uh, I could have just sent a second fisherman. I guess I do. I've got, well, never mind. I don't. I could have just bumped this up to two and had a second fisherman in there. Population is 90 and 35. No, 16, 50, 12, and 14. What am I doing? Adults, students, and children. All right, we're doing good. Oh, okay, that's right. We had the disease. That's good, though. They're getting some of the harvest in. That should die off now. I don't think it's going to reach that wheat crop over there. I wouldn't imagine it does. No, it looks like it's done now. And all of our houses are filled. Well, why don't we start the day off by making a couple of houses? It looks like they're working on this up here, which is great. Let's put a little house up here so we've got our, our herdsman has a place to live. We'll put it right here on the shoreline. That way they can, you know, have access to the water. And we'll put, we'll leave a gap in here too, just so we uh, have room for a future path if we need one. Point right there. I think we could probably squeeze in another field right here. And then we'll continue our road up and put in another... We might be able to squeeze in a little bit of a pasture here, maybe for chickens or something. Right there. And then go up here and do a nice cow, a nice cattle uh, grazing area there. We talked about coming over here too. This is kind of a small little valley all of its own. Maybe this would be a great, a better area. We're, run the road this way and do a cattle area up here. We could do the sheep down here, and we could change this over to chickens. It's pretty big for chickens, though. Uh, I guess we could do that. Yeah, Head K71 says, Buying one seed opens up the option to plant that type of crop. Exactly. Well said, my friend. Well said. Thank you for putting the words in my mouth. Oh, look at that. The peppers. The peppers and the wheat. I wonder what they're whipping up with. Peppers, wheat, and uh, venison, and fish. Hmm, don't know. How are we doing up here? 13%. I have been enjoying this game. I started, like I said, another city. It's called Griggstown. That's just the name it came up with. And uh, it has been a, a good time working on that one as well. I did it a little bit over the weekend. This world, I'm this city, I'm saving for us to work on together. I think over here, we were going to kind of consider doing... Oh, we've got stuff over here. Of course we do. Got a little bit of everybody over here. We got an herbalist. The gatherer is the farthest one out of uh, that. And then, do I have a forester here? Did we put a forester down out here? It seems to me this would be a good place for a forester. We did build a bridge over here, so maybe we bring this road in next and get another forester out here so he can constantly be reforesting this area for us as well. Let's do a path over to about... Uh, oh, looks like we've got a bit of a hill maybe here. It's going to cause us a problem. I'm going to back off that hill a little bit. We'll do that. And then add a Forester's Hut. I think that's here. Forester Lodge. Yeah, there we go. We'll put it on this side so it really encompasses this entire area. Looks like we've got it too. Bam. All right. Get built, sucker. Yeah. Okay, so now I see. I was wondering about that because the crops look like they're dying. And these guys are just out here doing the best they can to get it picked up. If we put, what is it recommended here? Two farmers, three farmers per field to get 100% yield? Because it looks to me like they're going to fail. They got the, the, the yield is dropping quickly with the storm. Down to 31, 30. Yeah, you can see it fading away. They're di it's dying because there's not enough people out here gathering all at the same time and working on the fields. That might not be a bad idea in the future. Take and put um, everybody on the farm when the fall hits and have them all come out here and work on that for just a little bit of time and get it all in. Hmm. If I think of it, we'll try something like that. Uh, Headcase, if you're interested in a good mod colonial charter, Journey 1.76 adds loads of buildings and materials. Thank you. That was mentioned in the comments as well. So I've, I've got that in mind. I'm going to stick with the vanilla at the moment because I've never played before. So I'm just going to try to get the basics of the game down. I mean, there's so many things I'm learning that I didn't know before. Look at this. Who's that? Got her. It's Hari, 31, educated, fair clothing. She is our vendor. Off she goes now. So, yeah, the clothing, too, I noticed that by five year five, their clothing starts to go from fair to ragged. And then uh, you could actually watch the health meter start to tick downward. We really need to get our pen up and running so we can get our sheep 
uh, home sweet home here. How we doing? Not a 72, zero 72. So they are tinkering around. Let's go ahead and I've been using this button a lot and that is saying, hey, this is what I want done right now as quickly as possible. Looks like these guys have all reached their goals. What did I have you set for? 500, huh? Well, let's, since you're there by yourself, let's do, do we have just the one herbalist? We have two herbalists, huh? Let's set them to a thousand. We'll get that stuff in. I gotta imagine herbs are probably pretty good to sell, right? Uh, where's our merchant? Herbs, let's see, I bet we could, can we actually put herbs in here? Uh, inventory, Her okay, here we go. I don't have any herbs put in here. Let's do 200 since they have an abundance of them at the moment. And we'll get 200 put in there. Variety has a shorter day at work, so you hear may hear my my phone ding in the background. Um, okay, and then these guys have nothing to work with, so we need to get more wood. Firewood's at 1500, so we're doing all right there. We're doing okay. Since I've got a forester coming in here, I could cut these down, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave those alone. Let's go ahead and go back out here, close to town, close to home, and get them to do this in the wintertime, and we'll just let those grow back down the road. That's why they're there, right? So we can chop them down and we don't have to travel far. This will be coming back in a few years. So we're good there. Yeah, okay. All right, I think we're on track. I'm paying attention now. I think I know where I'm at. 21% complete. We just need somebody to help them with getting those logs out there. What if I put this up to four builders for the meantime and get them to maybe work on that just a little bit faster. I'm gonna annoy them and do it again. They've gotta travel a great distance. We've got ourselves pretty spread out here for sure. It's downtown. <laughs> How's our population in here? 20 and 20, there we go, there we go. Uh, okay. There we go. They're not going to be having kids, but there's a child, a child, child, a uh, deer. Oh, Colin lives all by himself. He's the miner. Look at that, though. He's picked the house right next to his place of work. I think that's pretty cool. What do we got there? Uh-oh. Who died? Marine, the stonecutter, was crushed by a rock. Oh, jeez. That's brutal. Poor thing. She'll be in here soon. <laughs> She's not already... I think she is there, right? We had 16. Look at the deer just standing out here. Mocking us. Uh, it's going to take a tick for them to get all this here, huh? You guys, use a wheelbarrow. You can carry more. Oh, look. I think she's walking all the way back to this corner to place... Look at that. Instead of just coming here and dropping it right here, she's walking all the way back to where what the barn is going to be, I think. Kind of the shelter. That's where she's putting the material because that's where it's going to show up. That's interesting. So if I had spun this around and had that down here, she would have walked here and dropped it off and not had to walk even farther. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I lied. I'm going to have them chop down some of these trees over here too. So maybe they'll get a little bit extra stuff over there sooner than later. I'll have them cut these guys down right here so we don't interfere with uh, our gatherer and stuff over there and our hunter. Bah, I know, I'm working on your house, trust me. I've got these people working on it. we got a lot of fish on the dock, that's nice to see. Huh? Boxes of fish. Plenty of firewood. Looks good. How's the storage doing? 36% full. It's got a nice supply of food out here for those guys, for sure. we got another one over here. Look at that one, that one's 79% full of food. That's really great. Um... <laughs> Do I have any more of those? Oh, I bet I've got some down here by the farms, don't I? I should. If I don't, we're going to put one in. Uh-oh. we got a stockpile down here, which I think is fine for that area. I'm wondering about another storage barn. That's what we need down here is a storage barn. They are traveling a great distance to store that stuff, and I don't see one right here. Let's do that. That's a mistake on my part right there. Let's get them a storage barn so they don't have to travel so far with the crops. Hmm. I could squeeze it in there behind the school. Because, yeah, they're coming all... I think they're coming all the way over to here. No, wait. Well, I've got one right here, too. 
36% full, but it's still quite a ways away from over here. And we're going to need one in the long run, right? Because we're going to have a bunch of folks living out in this area. So what if we do one here? Let's turn it sideways. Oh, sorry. Oh, I got to go back a little bit. Uh, never mind. We don't have enough space right there for it. I'll do it right here. There we go. We'll get them to start on a storage barn down here. So maybe <clears throat> our, our, our animals and the other fields we have in here, all that material can come over to this one. Be a little closer. And since we're on paths... What have I got going on here? Can I go pretty straight? Okay, we've got some stuff in the way because we've got it marked. But it looks like I can get a path straight through here and get those, um, get a couple more of these pastures going. At least one big one back in there. What do we got here? Log, stone, tools. Oh, tools. What's going on, Smithy? Blacksmith. There we go. Well, he's got tools. He's making them. But he's walking them over there instead of sticking them in here. Not sure. Maybe he's getting more logs so he can make more? I'm not sure what he's doing. This could be him right here. Nope, he's going to go chop wood. So they're bringing the getting the logs from all the way over there. Hmm. Or they're just actually, you know what, they're picking up the trees and bringing them over there. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Delroy, hello. Uh, we got into Forest Village over the weekend, huh, Delroy? Sucked you in? Yeah, I, I gotta say, I really enjoyed this. I was, um, I don't know if I mentioned it here, but Variety and I, I was telling her, I said, because sometimes we just want to find something to play together. Uh, just kind of hang out. We take turns and talk about what we're playing. I said we could try that City Skyline on Xbox One. Then we could sit in the living room. You know, we got the t bigger TV and stuff like that. So we bought that. And, uh, she's out there playing it right now. <laughs> yeah. They suck you in, man. It's fun to manage everything and see how things are going. Okay, our trader is coming around the bend. How's everything doing? We got 25 logs. We got 102 stone, which is great. I'm so glad to see that there's stone. Is our... Is this ready yet? It's getting there. It's it's getting there. That's going to take a while, huh? That's going to take a long while to do. I want to mess with the trader here a little bit. I think our population is still doing well. I do need to get some houses up and running, though. We got people joining the workforce soon. See, I believe... Oh, okay, the trader's here. You're right. I believe that this child is 10. Beat Beatricio would normally come out and work for us right now, but since they're a student, they don't come out and play quite as early. There's an 8-year-old and a baby. Some elders in there. That must be our last elder home in the area. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, now, how do I how do I sell stuff to him, though? This is what is this what he's buying from us? This is what they have for sale, and this is what we have for sale, correct? So I've got 50 tools sitting in our our yard here to sell. So those 50 tools we can actually have them take and put back in the stockpile, and then we have th these. This what I'm looking at here doesn't count towards what we have uh, down in here, is what I'm guessing right now. 750 and 50. Okay, so I would like to I would like to sell. Do I go into purchase? Orders. I still want that corn. Okay, this is a different trader. This is correct. I go here. Okay, and then okay, what I've gotten here is separate from what we do. I don't understand how I sell this stuff to them, though. I can't sell. I can only trade. Oh. 
then I must have misunderstood the comment because I thought it was I'm supposed to sell this stuff. So if I want to buy the firewood off of this person, then I have to have enough stuff in here in order to trade. Gotcha. All right. So we don't have... We're, we're looking for hopefully some cattle or some uh, chickens here. So we're not going to buy anything from them. And I, I guess I got to dismiss them, right? Dismiss. There we go. And it is uh, it's springtime, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be kind of cool if I could sell stuff and then we had like a little coffer of money that would it would build up in. I guess that's a different game down the road. Okay, so we're almost there where this is going to be under construction. I want to get those sheep in their pen so they're not sitting out there. And then I want this house built and that built. By the fact, by the time they get to this, this other house, we're going to need another house here. We'll put one right next door to it, and another one here. We'll get three of those going. Kind of learning how to grow the population properly. Out here, we've got two people, two... There's just... <laughs> okay. Elias is now six years old. If you remember, Elias began in this house at the age of two, alone. He's now made it to the age of six, alone. That's impressive. And some more children. Good deal. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. Beautiful. Oh, I thought that said 17 a little while ago. Did we have somebody resurrect? Or do the bodies decompose after a while and it opens up a space? <laughs> I'm not sure. I thought it said 17. Here we go. They are going to have this open uh, very soon. So, At which time we are going to need a... a herdsman. We'll have to get a herdsman. And I was said in the comments that one herdsman is enough to control and handle everything. They are also working on this woodcutter over here, which is good. And looks like they've done a good job of getting rid of all the trees back in here. Uh, we'll give them some more to do. Take this all the way back in here. Maybe instead of um, down that way anymore, maybe I should try to get a road going back in here so we can get some houses kind of back in here through the middle. There's a bunch of iron back here, too. If I run a path through here, it would make life a lot easier on them. Why don't we think about that next? I don't want to build a tunnel necessarily through the hillside, although that would look cool. I'm thinking maybe a path off the back of here, over to here, and then straight down this way. Can I get through here? Oh, there we go. I think that might be the case right here. Go ahead and chop these trees down, guys, so I can see a little bit better. Ah, there's my path. I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and run this one over there and see what this does. Hopefully while we've been... I've been yammering away... Oh, I can't... I don't, yeah, just go ahead and get that one other tree there. This one right here, please. Here she comes. She's going to get that for us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rochelle. Oh, that's my granddaughter's name. Can I can I go through the logs? There we go. Perfect. And oh, this is going to be a thing here, huh? Dirt road cannot be placed in this location, but it's not going to. Do I have to really do a tunnel there? Or I wonder if I maybe I should try a different direction. It's going to want me to dig a tunnel. No matter what, I'm going to have to dig a tunnel here. That's the case, huh? Okay, so let's do that then. Oh no, I've got to build a tunnel. How awful. Right here is my tunnel. And a tunnel. What? Hold on, everybody. Just, oh, wait a minute. Does that not work that way? Really? I can't use this land back here? Oh. Oh, no. There's no way around it. What? So, that's kind of sucks that there's a... Oh, I wonder if I built a house here. If that would squish the ground down. 
I bet if I build something right at the end of that road or close to it, it would squish that ground down. I'm willing to give that a test and try that out. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, we need to get the path removal tool. Um, let's see, can I get a house to go up here? No. Where can I, where can I? Right there is where I can do it. Let's try that right there, and then we'll prioritize that um, for the crew here. And get that started. Maybe I can do that, run the road a little bit, add another house. I don't know. We'll see. I would like to get back there. I could use flattened terrain. Oh, do I have a flattened terrain option? I never thought about that. Shows the path citizens take between homes. Oh, it's a mod. Well, then that's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got ourselves a herdsman. Let's do that. And this is for sheep. Off we go. Hello? There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. The pen was back here in this corner, so wherever the pen is, that's where they gotta drop the materials off. Makes sense, I get it. So next time I build one, I'll try to keep that in mind and make sure I put it near the walkway. I guess the fence is there, right? Okay, they're gonna do the best they can with the harvest. Food is not a problem for us. We have plenty of it at the moment. Well, you guys should have all the stuff you need. You should be able to get to this really quick, I hope. Yeah, they're almost there. We'll see. It looks to me like it did squish it down a little bit, but I bet I won't be able to get anything else back in here. Or maybe that'll bump the land up a little bit and I can get the tunnel through. We'll give it a try and see. It means I gotta tear the house down though, so it's kind of a waste of time. But what's what's the other way I would get back in here? I guess I could do a road in a different location and then they would have to build a tunnel. Is that my other option here? Let's pause them again. I didn't think about that, but maybe I could pick a different spot to do this at. We got town hall right here. We got the church right here. So what if we did, and the, and the school is there too. I wonder if this is deep enough. Let's try this instead. I might get, get them to cancel all of that. I didn't think about this. There we go. See, look at that. That worked. Okay, we're going to do that instead. Um... can't remember how to tell them to... Let's just pause the building on that right there. You know what? No. Just go ahead and build it. We, we need the house. We'll just do that. And then when we start upgrading houses, we'll just get rid of it. Okay, I put the bridge in. I just need to continue my path on the other side then. Uh, dot, 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 dot. And here. And will you keep... You, know, you will. Alright, look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, we won't go that far just yet. We'll just uh, drag this in a little ways. What's that bridge going to take me? Oh, it's only 40 stone. Okay, we have the stone for that? We do. Alright, beautiful. Alright, everybody back to work. The tailor can no longer make clothing because they ran out of material. And did our sheep get over here yet? I, oh, oh, they've got to be on their way. Oh, look at this. They are swimming. They are actually walking in the water. From what I understand, sheep don't swim very well. They kind of sink because of the wool. It gets heavy and pulls them right under. Sheep and water don't mix very well. Yeah, they, uh... <laughs> okay. They're swimming. I want to see my sheep in their pen. You guys are doing great out here with the farming. Thank you for saving our lives every year with all the food that you do grow. I get a woodcutter out here, too. I get a woodcutter house out here. That's what I need. 
Oh, I keep turning it off. I'm going to pull you out here. I'm going to put a woodcutter out here, too. i, I got to say that I'm pretty um, much in love with the... I'm sorry, the Forester. I like the Forester a lot. He, uh, he makes things look better. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a sheep. Second one's a coming. All right, good deal. Did they get our new house built yet? Just about. Okay, and then I want them to work on this next. Um, prioritize this this bridge. Okay, and they moved in right away. Look at that, 21 and 21. Okay, so we need to make sure we get some houses going too. Hopefully they get this bridge done pretty fast. The resources should be, I think, right around here for them. They should be able to do it. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah, no mods at the moment, guys. Just wanna just wanna keep playing the game uh, vanilla style. There's there's a lot of games I'm trying out on the channel to see how they do, and they've been on my mind for a long time. And um, so here we are. We're trying them all out, giving it a shot. This Forester cabin is slowly but surely they're working on that one. That's fine. And then this stuff here is this has got to be the the next thing we're doing here over here. Got to keep ourselves good. We've got f almost 4,500 food, 1,500 wood. Okay. I think we're good. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly for the population that we have at the moment. So I'm pleased. Look at this hustle bustle down in here, man. It's busy. Busy place. I got to work on this here tunnel. 9 of 40, 15 of 40. Okay, sweet. Okay, so where are we getting... Oh, we're getting our stone from our stone mine, of course. What have we got in here? Dig faster. Dig faster. Harder. As soon as we get another uh, laborer, I'm going to put them on stone cutter as well. I'm going to try to get this up to... I'm going to try to get it up to around 10 and see if that doesn't help with the stone issue. Trees seem to be a lot easier to get a hold of than the stone. We don't have any more anywhere. We've got iron laying around, which is good. We have 75 iron at the moment. Some more iron over here. I guess there's a couple of little stones out here, but that's really not very much at all. I mean, come on. There's a stone. And there's a stone. I'm a little surprised it's still sitting there. Thirty-seven. Okay, they're going to start construction on this any second. Ooh, we actually lost a laborer. Why would we have... Oh, I wouldn't... How, why would we lose a laborer? Did we have multiple deaths? Oh, I think we did. I think we had some old folks die. Eighteen. I'm guessing that's what it is. Sixty-one. Seventy-two. Yeah, we did. There was a house that had two people in their seventies. I think they both... I think we had... Oh, there's... There they are right there. Builder and Builder, both 79. Oh my gosh. Don't do any more. Okay, we're going to go back to... Nope, oh, wrong way. Sorry. There we go. Other way. Matter of fact, I'm going to go down to two Builders. We'll have five laborers. It is going together as we speak. 63% complete. And then we're going to drag town this way. Yeah, this is good. What am I going to need down here? I'm going to need a stockpile down here. Say in the middle somewhere, right around in here. I don't know that a forester's hut back in here would uh, benefit us too much with all the hills and stuff here. I guess they would. what we see is what would be reforested, right? What we see would be what we get. We got another groove over here, but yeah, we'd have to dig a tunnel through this to get to this over here. This isn't bad. We could stretch this out and get across here and grab all of this stuff over here as well. Might be a little shorter if we actually came along this side of the stone mine and then just built a small bridge over the top of this. I'm trying to figure out where I can get my next resource. I feel like... My population should be good. I'm a little surprised we still have not seen any nomads, but then, you know, yeah, we've got City Hall. We've got Town Hall. 
We've got our church, uh, 78 members. We have our market and we have our trading post. So I believe those are the things we need, right? Somebody said that you may have to make it so they can reach you from the edge of the map. And it looks to me like we've got plenty of ways for them to get to us from that direction. And at the moment, it's looking like they can come from this side of the map as well. So it was thought that they had to be able to traverse to you. And we definitely have at least a couple areas where nomads could walk in to our area. So I don't know if that's the case. How are we doing here? 19 to 30. Did I, uh, maybe I didn't make myself quite clear. I need this to be a top priority. Let's go. I know you've had some deaths. I'm sorry. We, progress has to be made. Sip my coffee real quick here. Hope everyone's doing great. Doing fantastic. Like I said, I was pretty excited to get back in here and play some more. I got quite addicted. And we have our boarding house too. I mean, don't, let's not forget boarding house. I like Main Street here. Oh, you know what else we were going to do? We are going to do the tavern. The tavern we can hold off though until we get some orchards going. Maybe we should get an orchard going today as well. Hmm. The orchard back here might not look bad. We need a farmer though, don't we? Or maybe what I do is next year as I take one of these wheat fields and turn it into an orchard. That way we don't get any of these poison crops again. But then I've got this over here going on as well. We could turn both of these into orchard. Two crops there, two crops here. We've got two crops here and two there. Since we don't have a third crop right now to break up that, the possible of the disease getting through the infestation. How are we doing here, folks? 19 to 30, it's still... Uh, there's been no progress made. Let's kick it up to five for a little bit. We're very busy. How's the stone? 114, 134 logs. We're going to need more trees. We've got a bunch of trees marked out here, so we're okay on that too. Okay, they're working on the bridge now. There it is. The tunnel, I'm sorry, the tunnel is now completed. That looks nice there. I like that. We get some trees growing up along here. That's going to look good. Okay, let's continue this path. Down to here. That way they can get back and forth with those materials faster. And I'm going to put a storage barn down here too. Let's put a stockpile here first. do that first and then they can take all that stuff right there now the next thing I want them to really get started on here is these houses so let's get this going first oh let's see we got 22 percent zero zero and zero so let's get this one done first let's go ahead and speed this guy up get him out here to do some work and if I think if we have some resources here for them to gather, they just work right out here, maybe. We'll have them cut down those trees right there, and these guys right here, and that little tree right there. And we got a nice chunk of stone back in here, too. That's nice. And it looks like I've got all these trees already marked. Winter's coming. Okay, there we go. They got a... They have no stock. There's no stockpile down here either. Hmm. I feel like stockpiles are important to have all over the place so they don't walk so far to put things down. Uh, can I do one here? I know we're going to continue on this way with our... Um, our farms. Our, our herd areas. Our, God, I don't know. Cattle pens. Domesticated animal pens. We bring that road down this way. I'm, I'm hopeful I can get over this. I may have to zig it a little bit and zag it. But yeah, I, th I think the cattle back here and uh, the sheep back here would be great. Uh, how did this field do this year compared to last year? 310 last year, 216 so far this year. We are in autumn, so they are going to... Yeah, I, I, that's... Okay, I'm still thinking about doing that. It just telling everybody to go farm. Could I do that right now? Could we test that right now? How would I do that? I would have to take everybody, put them on farmer, right? 16 total. Now, do I have to go on here and... Okay, so three of three 
This is two of three, one of three, two of three. So if I do that, uh, one of... Oh, I see, 16. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking I look... I don't know if I'm looking at the right number or not. This is the number of people I have working for farming. It says two of three there. One of three. Two of three. I'm going to try this out and see what happens. What did I take? How did I get... I took all my laborers, huh? Okay, let's, let's do that real quick and see if that doesn't help. Get this food all in. More of it in. So it took all of my laborers, is what it did. Hopefully they get to their new jobs quickly. I know tailing them go from one job to another really distracts them. I'm gonna have to get on, get it on get on at the next harvest a little bit sooner, but we'll see what we can gather. Yeah, it was kind of late to be telling them to do that, huh? Well, let's try. You never know until you try, right? Maybe we did better. Yeah, the yield's dropping. Our food jumped up to 7,700. I don't even know exactly what it was before, but it jumped up. So I'm going to put my... Uh... Oh, I've got a bunch of new laborers. We had a couple of other people jump in the force of work. Okay, so there we go. There, there's, there's some work there. That worked out pretty good. Okay, they got that stockpile filled, and they're using it. So let's also get this... Well, let's get another house going. I think that's going to be my next priority. Uh, no, priority. I'm sorry. 2%, 0%, 0, 0%. 0 Alright, so you're the next house for me, because you've got a bit of a start. There we go. Let's get you next. Give people places to live. 18 to 35... Oh, look at our look at our village. I love it. This is so cool. How's our quarry? We have 81% uh, remaining, and we probably got a bunch there. Yeah, I don't have many people on the mining. How is our... Oh, yeah, see, our iron is at 68. We're doing pretty good, and he caught up with the tools at 50. But you know what? I bet I should bump that number up now that we are doing... Yeah, let's go ahead and tell our... Oh, I got him set to 250. Uh, oh, sorry. He shouldn't be done at all. That might be too many tools. Let me back that down by 50. Let's do 200 instead. Oh. I push escape to get out of that menu. This is coming along nicely as well. We'll let that just kind of go as it goes. The sheep. Did they have any uh, lambs here? No, no baby sheep yet. No lambs. That's it. There you go. There you go, little lady. Come on over here and get this house built. Somebody wants to live in it. Oh, they've worked on this a little bit, too. She's still... You know, the tailor is going to make clothes whenever hide becomes available, right? If there's hide, they grab it up if there's enough, and then she reopens, he reopens, and then makes that stuff. Yep, we got a herdsman right down here. Yep, one herdsman. I guess we've really not seen anybody ever out here, have we? <laughs> Sheep are just kind of out here. But yeah, we did uh, hire a herdsman. Do I have to tell it to work? No, it's working. It's on. How do I find out who's our herdsman? Uh, there's probably something down here for that, right? Shows general stats about the town. Log of events. Overhead map. Jobs. Paths. Maybe I just click on town hall. Inventory, nomads. Nomads, zero. 
It's not really telling me which one is the herdsman. I think what I've been doing is I kind of go through the house, just kind of look. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet money that our herdsman. I don't know why I keep pushing escape today. Our herdsman's gonna be out here somewhere. Student. Herdsman. Yep. Joycely. Joycely. Joycely, age 21. She is our herdsman. She'll do a quality job as well, I'm sure. We just don't see her. <laughs> She's not spending much time with the sheep. Must be because it's so cold out right now. Looks like everybody's coming over here to get stuff. Oh, we, we, we have a forester is ready to be brought into here. Nice. Now, the forester, if later on, if we get more people who can work in each one of these buildings, I'll do it. But at the meantime, what I'm trying to do right now is just keep the place looking nice. And as this place grows, we'll chop it down. And then we should be able to move on to the next area. And it's going to be our wood supply for, you know, the long haul, basically. So once they get this forester in, we should be able to harvest trees out of this area all the time. Be nice. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get them to let them know that they can do all of these trees here. Just go ahead and you can take all of those, all of those right there. Yeah, you don't even have to do those anymore if you don't want to. Just take these over here. Much easier. Uh, and I've got these marked over here too. Uh, what are we? Are we in late winter? Okay, so spring is coming. Uh, we did well. We have 1,500 firewood and 6,700 food by the end of winter. So. I feel happy that we're taking care of our people now. They have food, they have shelter, they have uh, materials. They're doing pretty good. There we go. I feel I feel good about this little village. Condoria is um, shaping up nicely. Look at that stone pile right there, man. Look at that. People are working their butts off. Okay, I, I picked up a few, few, uh, a few more laborers. Let's add two more stone cutters on here and at the end of this year we'll see just how good um, our stone is can I take some of them back and then this fall maybe late summer early fall I'm gonna put everybody back on farming again just let them disperse amongst themselves wherever they want to go and work on the farms they did go to a farm, right? They didn't just show up all unemployed around the map. I'll have to check, but I don't think I, I saw any unemployment signs over anybody's head. Did we get this path in? Uh, looks like it's partially in. They started work out here, that's for sure, which is great. So I could have them work on this stuff here. Let's have them go ahead and work on a little bit of iron so that doesn't get lower. Yeah, we're at 71 iron right now, 80 logs. They could do the, well, and then, of course, we've got the stone cutters right now. So hopefully the stone cutters are going to pay off. We'll see. I'm going to say, I assume that the trader probably comes in spring, summer, once a year. How many builders do you guys normally have at this stage of the game? I'm thinking maybe I'm doing this a little bit wrong. I feel like I should have four builders and like eight laborers or something like that in total. I just really like having the stone uh, in the inventory here. I'm going to go ahead and take one stone cutter back. Each stone cutter has been a nice little raise in how much stone we actually have in our coffer at 147. Um, that's pretty nice. The next thing I probably should do with the stone, is, since we do have so many stone cutters, is get these main drags done up in stone so everybody moves a little bit faster and it's not quite so much work for them. Let's try that with one of these and see what happens. I'm curious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the farm one here. We're going to do it the farm one. Sixty-eight stone, eighty-seven. 
That is 102 stone. I'm going to back this off a little bit. I'm going to go up to the end of these houses right here. And we're going to have them cobblestone that path right there. So we've got people moving faster to harvest and drop off the goods. I think that's more important than having them move fast through what is just really living quarters and, and, and such at the moment. But then this will be the next one we work on. We'll get this one put in. And then I feel like this one uh, will go next. Because again, we've got this... Th yeah, see, they use these stockpiles all over the place. I really do notice that. But this is very important to have something like this here in numerous junctions around the place. Although this one here doesn't get used much. It's probably... I guess it's not near any of the resources we're picking up. Maybe it'll get some logs once we chop this down again. I'm going to let this go for another year or two before I hack it. I could hack this back area, though. This is a pretty good spot back in here. This looks like it's pretty mature. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and have them chop those trees down, too. And then how's this coming along? Yeah, see, we're kind of consuming this with our homes and stuff, but... Um, yeah, that's all right. Whatever, right? That's cool. Uh, we got these guys coming up. We're going to let those guys go a little bit longer, too. And these guys need to go a little bit longer, also. And we'll chop all these down again, as well. Yeah, I love having these, um, these foresters around. They just make the whole village look so much better when there's some trees in them. You know, you get down in here, and it just looks really pretty with the trees and stuff in the background. It's just not this stripped landscape. Like, I was tempted to put a forester here as well, just to kind of forest in whatever they could get to. But I feel like it's kind of a waste of an employee at the moment since we're, you know, trying to do this. Oh, here we go. Here she is. She is happy. Oh, it's different. It's Tiffany. She's now the new herdsman. She's 25. We must have fired the other one. She's educated. And she has fair clothing on. Yeah, I love it. Their health is full and their stars are full. So we've got some happy um, happy villagers. I like happy villagers. Okay, they'll be having... Before I say that, yeah, they'll be having kids soon. They've got a child. Uh, you know what? I don't think anybody's working on anything too much. What was I having them work on? <laughs> there we go. Let's get another house going. Gotta make it to babies. Since we don't have any nomads coming in. I know once nomads show up, it's going to be a thing. Springtime, you wanted to put workers on the farms. Did I want to do that or I wanted to bring them in the fall so that they could help harvest? I think I wanted to... Because, let's see. 17% yield, 18%. If they all come now, they help plant, huh? These guys can't plant a field on their own. Let's see. Hold on. Let me uh, let me check our trader here. What does he have? Okay, he's selling firewood again. Somebody said their name is up here, but there you can see their name. Well, this is the same guy as last time. He's got firewood. I see. So each one of these guys brings different stuff with him. I see. I thought it was just the same trader with different things that he picked up along the way, but each trader is uh, specific to what it is they're going to offer me. Gotcha. Ah, uh, there's some ale. Look at that. Uh, I don't want to do ale, though. Okay, so he's got nothing for me as well. I don't want to buy firewood from him. How do we do out here so far? Okay, my builders are working on the roads. They should be. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that um, when I order them to work on... When I say I want you to prioritize something, the laborers go out and stockpile the site that's going to be built. And then once they finish that, then the builder goes out. So I... I figure while the builders are waiting in the background to do something, I'll have them work on the paths. Looks like they got this one. Is it done? Can't tell if it's done or not. It doesn't. It appears like it's. No, it's not. You can see right here this gray. 
We're kind of working on the farming district today out here. We've been all over the board, actually. They got our dirt road in here. Yeah, they're, they've not really worked on this at all, it looks like, the path. That's okay. When they get to it, they get to it. I've been kind of pushy with them. Oh, here's some stone over here we could grab, too. We might as well put that on the uh, chopping block as well. If they need it, they can come out and get it. Right now we're doing okay at 163. I don't know if that's a lot of stone, but it seems like a lot more than I've ever had. <laughs> it surely does. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well. 55, 19, and 12, huh? Let's see, what do we got in the church? 87 members, so I'm assuming 87 people is what we have. Nope. Did it again. Okay, they are chopping these trees down for us. No, we I guess I kinda left those alone, didn't I, this time around. 47% yield. So I should, huh? In the spring, I should have them all go out and plant the fields so we get 100% yield. The thing is, is, I've seen it reach 100% yield. Do we have uneducated people working in our fields at the moment? No, they're educated. 59% yield. So they're working all the way through the year. 49% yield. 45% yield. 13% yield. So this one's down here is moving kind of slow. We'll have to see. Uh, if I think of it, we'll pause when fall hits. I, I want to do like late summer, early fall. We're going to send everybody to the fields and we'll have them all work until they get things harvested. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We've got a little bit of cobblestone. Yeah, um, builders have been working on the roads. Indeed, they have. I've given them quite a few roads, huh? Tunnel and stuff like that to build. Yeah, they've got all our dirt roads in. I'm impressed. Such skills. Did I put a forester out here? Oh, a forester. Well, you know what? This forester is actually getting... Well, maybe he's not. If I put a forester right here in the middle, I bet... We need trees, man. We're going to need more and more trees constantly. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put that right there. If they can get to it whenever they get to it, no hurry. Taylor is still looking for things to do. Eight laborers, so do I need another hunter, maybe? Wood cutting, we're at uh, 1,700, 5,900 food, so we're good there. Herbalist is on the top of it. We're going to need a brewer. The blacksmith seems fine. I could do another stone cutter, or I could just keep who I have. The stones be the stone seems to be staying pretty solid here. We're doing pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on uh, taking anybody off labor at the moment. We're just gonna keep them on there. We're keeping up with food. We're keeping up with firewood. Those are the two things I know I need to really watch over here uh, to make sure our people are happy. We're up to 76% yield here, 65%, 64, 67. How are these fields down here at the very beginning? 64 yield, huh? That's all we're going to get out of it, it looks like. No, they're still working on it. It looks seems to me that what they do is they go out there and they hoe the ground a bunch. And as they're doing that, it, it goes up in yield. So we're now at summertime. So I'm going to hope that the, all these fields are up to 100. Look at this. Look at the cobblestone road going in. Oh, that's nice. Go, go, go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Make it make it nice so everybody can come through. I understand now there's, there's uh, I think, Farthest Frontier and some of the other games that have come along since Banished. You've got fencing you can put up and all kinds of little decorations you can stick here and there all over the place. That would be really cool. I'm looking forward to trying out others like this on the channel. So, you know, if you're enjoying it, hit thumbs up, show the support. I'm really enjoying being uh, the ruler of Gondoria right now. i got to tell you. I enjoy watching these little people do my bidding. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of going smooth right now. Everybody's got their job. Everybody's doing it. Things are happening nicely. Do we happen to have a lamb born? Oh, 
Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Got us a little lamb. How many animals with this hole? Three of 22. Okay. Liza, she's now the herdsman. Seems like there's somebody different every time we go out there. I'm sick of working with the animals. They stink. Get me out of here. Why are those at 73% and these... Uh, well, this one's now 81%. These have jumped actually ahead of the ones behind us here. 92%. 36% yield. Isn't that interesting? This is only a 37 right now. This one next door is... 92. 31. We're still summer. We're in, when it says late summer, I think I'm going to switch everybody over and have them go start on that. The builders can continue to work on the, uh, the road. Looks like the builders are the ones carrying the stone with them. So they can continue to build this road. And we'll get everybody else to work the fields and see if we can't just jump that food up like a mad dog. A mad dog. What a dork. All right. Uh, 85 members. A couple more people died, huh? 21 graves. We're going to need a cemetery. I'm going to need another cemetery, aren't I? This is where the tavern goes. I can't forget that. That's the tavern. Uh, the cemetery over here? I don't know about that. Where can we put a cemetery? Ooh, maybe right after the tunnel? Oh, that would look nice out here. I know, it sounds weird to say something like that, but you know. Want them to have a nice place to come out and visit their loved ones. Do uh, a little something here. Nah, I didn't go that big. 8 by 16. What is the one we have currently? Uh, no, this is not cemetery direction. This is. No, that's not. Where is our. Oh, there is our cemetery. What is this, anyways? Uh, I guess if I select cemetery, I can map this out. 9 by 16. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. We'll go 9 by 16. 16. Jeez. There we go. We'll do a cemetery out here. Because we're going to add some more houses out here too, right? So let's let's plop a couple houses down. Live by the haunted cemetery. We'll do one, two, three houses for now over here. Get them started kind of moving. Get us moving out this way a little bit. I kind of regret putting this house right here, but I guess it's kind of cute back here. A little cottage in the forest. That'll work. Whatever. That's good. How are we doing on our stone road? Well, we're getting there. They're tinking away at it. Plink, plink, plink with the old iron tools. Got three of the four houses out here done. Um, let's go ahead and prioritize this storage shed. So we start storing stuff out here. Oh, oh they're, they're starting the harvest. Hold on. They're starting the harvest, people. Farmers, we have 10 fields. I'm going to put 15 people on it. That's what we're going to do. 15 people. Go. Help everybody. Help. Help the farmers harvest the fields. Let's get that stuff in. Late summer. It looks like they started at the end prior to late, hit late, sum, late summer. Sixty-seven yield, sixty-six, ninety-two, ninety, ninety-eight. Those are all nice numbers. Seventy-three, seventy-one. Okay, they're chopping it up. It's not dying. It is being harvested. Let's see if our let's see if this picks up. I'm gonna let them disperse themselves. I'm not gonna give them specific directions on where to go. There's a bunch of them. Spread out and do it. There's a bunch of them out here now. There we go. There we go. Get the goodness. If you think about it, you could do the whole town. Well, I guess you can only have so many people, though, right? I'm really curious to see how this uh, yield goes here. 
We're at, uh, well, right now we're at 4,900 food. It just dropped 100, but uh, they're all bringing the stuff in. Yeah, they're having to travel way too far with the product to put it away. Looks to me like what they're doing is they're actually bringing food over here for this guy. I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's bringing it over to this storage barn here. They're bringing it all the way over to here? Yeah, I should have gotten this done before the harvest. Because that's what they're doing. They're taking it all out there. I've got a bunch of folks carrying it down this way, too. Okay, they're continuing on. I, I, I gotta assume they're putting it in the in the houses. Yeah, they're they're stocking the houses with it too. It looks like maybe. That's cool. Perfect. Okay, I'm really wanting to see the food go up here. Everybody's working on it. Unneed barns. Um, I would assume that once it fills, it's... Uh, how, do you, how would you unneed a barn? Yeah, I don't know how you'd say don't use this barn. That's what they're using. I don't know that I can do that. I think I've got to just make sure that they have something available to them. Maybe I should have built this storage barn over here, right next to the bridge. A happy medium. So stuff from here would come down and stuff from here would go up. We also have a barn right down here too, so... I mean, they're having to travel a really... I would say a big distance to get that in there. It's interesting that they picked this one over here, though, to fill. Instead of the one in town. Or at the trader, even. I guess I tell the trader how much to have, huh? Well, they're getting it in. 5,500 food now. I think they're filling their houses as well. Oh, I need barns. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. That we uh, we've got some we've got barns. I just need to get uh, I need I should have gotten this one set up this last uh, winter, spring, summer. Get this one set up, and then hopefully they'll take a bunch of this over there, just to stock that right there. That's the idea. Then we got a barn here, and we have a barn here, and I have a barn over here. These two are probably. One of these is redundant, I would think. Maybe. And then we've got them building a barn out here as well. No, that's the Forester Lodge. I guess we've got this out here, but we don't have a barn. We've got just the storage, the stockyard out here. Still no nomads. If you guys know what I need to do for the nomads, let me know. Because I would love to see some come in. It'd be fun. Be a huge influx in population, that's for sure. We'd have to focus on houses for a little bit, and then the food would be a big jump as well. Okay, we're in autumn now. You guys need to get this in. This is one. I should have at least two on each, huh? I don't know that those guys are going to go back. They, they should go back. Confirm for me again. I've talked about this, and I, I think I'm right about this, but I'm not sure. In the winter, our farmers become laborers. Because there's nothing for them to do. Anybody who's not working at their trade goes to become a laborer. It just doesn't show us in the laborer tally how many there are. Okay. Dragon Phoenix says yes. And all I need is a town hall, and the nomads come. That's interesting how 
there's different viewpoints on how to get nomads to come to your village. I've had uh, a different scenario was said to me about it. Uh, we're working on this right here. Farmers work as laborers until spring. Okay, beautiful. Then, yeah. It just doesn't reflect that over here. It'd be interesting if this number would jump up as soon as winter hits to whatever number we're, you know, we'd have. Uh, I guess 15 plus the 5 would be 20 laborers. And then you would see it drop and the number would switch. The point is, I think we're getting most of the crop in, I hope. I'm going to put two on each of these. I think I made a mistake by not doing that at the beginning. I don't have any more to disperse. I think I've done it as many times as I can. Two of four, two. I got one. One. One of three. Can I do that? Yeah, I don't have... I need more uh, more people. I could do one more farmer now. And then I could do a second field. Another field. Having two people work each field is probably way better than having just one work since it takes up to four people per field. That's pretty nice. I need one for here, one for here, and one I need three more farmers. Nope, they're leaving. See they're they're done. They're moving around. Okay, I wonder if it's because I moved them, or if it's the time of year. Early winter has arrived. Here comes our trader. We'll see which one we have this time. Maybe we'll get some cattle out of it. Which means we're going to have to get this going so we can get our, uh, our herd area back here, our grazing land back in here taken care of. John from Kansas, first time chat. Hello. The distance from their houses and storage also play a factor in how much gets harvested. Okay, that makes sense. It makes total sense to me. Yeah, I really should have put that um, storage house somewhere in the middle here. Uh, he's got just food, huh? Well, I don't want any of just, just food. You go ahead. We're, we're working on our food. We've been working diligently on it this year. We're at 7,400 food. They're still working it. But yeah, I could see where the, even having two on these plots doesn't quite get it harvested. Well, this guy's just about got this one done. Just about. Having two of them on here has really paid off. That's one. This is two. So he's, with having two farmers on here, they got to get all that? Let's see. Well, this is the fun stuff for me to see why this kind of stuff works. Now that we've got a... I've got a little breathing room because everyone's kind of balanced out a little bit. Oh, it's going to freeze. Got to get that stuff picked up. Uh-oh. My baskets are... My baskets are disappearing. Get it. Get it. There you go. Well, not too bad, right? 852 peppers here. 579. And three logs. What? <laughs> okay. Um, whatever that means. Peppers. Uh, logs. Why are there logs in here? I don't get that. Wheat, 724, 749. Better than your last year. But then again, we're just now getting our farmers upright. Okay, there's a couple hundred extra there. Uh, 100 and plus extra there. This is another two out of four. I didn't get these really set up. Maybe it's not a very good time to do that because we didn't... Oh, there we go. Look at this. Okay, this is going to help right here. That's going to help. Let's get that house built. Let's focus out here a little bit because I do want to get the cattle area kind of put in too. And I'm going to bump my builders up to... Wait, we're sure the farmers are going to go do something else, huh? Oh, look at this. They're, they're working on this field still. They're still trying to get that field done. Everybody else is done over here, except for these guys. This stuff's dying at alarming rate. Okay. All right, well, now I know. That's good. 
at least having two farmers on each plot, it's it's getting us well twice as much, I imagine. Where are we at with this house? Two percent complete, huh? Okay, that's gonna take them a tick to get all this stuff together for that. I would like this forester's cabin taken care of as well. There you go, take care of that. All right, beautiful. Then yeah, I think I'm gonna do go ahead and run a road out here, and we'll put the uh, what you call it out here. The cattle, the cattle pen. How are our storage barns? 29%, 75%, 23. Trade yards is 48. It's pretty good. Ooh, it's getting laggy right over there by those guys. And this one here's got just a little bit in it. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm gonna leave those farmers on there and uh, we'll just keep working with these laborers that we have. Looks to me like they got a lot of it done. Oh, they did. Looks like they got most of it done. I don't know, do they move faster, you think? Let's see them turn off of here if it slows them down. I guess. I don't know. Oh, they went in the schoolhouse. They're coming out of the schoolhouse. I guess they do move faster on this thing. I noticed they cut a lot of corners, too. <laughs> the corner cutters, for sure. Okay, see, so yeah, I've got a bunch of laborers. I think these guys are all working on, on bringing stuff out to this house. And we've got... They've gotten this far with the road. We're getting there. Stockpiles full of logs. That's nice. Okay, so that area is working out pretty good. How's that new cemetery we were looking at today? Aha, uh -huh, we're working on this too. Uh, they need to get the. Uh, they just need to build it. That's all they need to do. We've got a house started out here as well. Very good. And this is our forester, right? Yeah. Two. Okay. So they got to remove the materials from there. I could be wrong, but I'm feeling like I'm starting to stretch my people out all over the place. And things are starting to get thin, but I don't know. we got our farming district up here, right? Sometimes I guess it's about aesthetics, not functionality. Does that even work together? Okay, now all of my laborers that I did have over the winter months should be going back to the farming, correct? Correct. It looks like I actually took a couple away from my labor force. Two laborers and two builders. That's not very good for the summertime. Because they work these fields all spring, all summer, is what I've noticed. There's always somebody out there hoeing the ground to get it to go. The cemetery's going to be ready just in the nick of time. We need more houses. So people can move. 19 and 18. Two kids. One. None. 75, none. There's a 15 year old. Yeah, see that 15 year old is going to want to move out here pretty quick. 2, 6, and 11. It was a long winter in that house. 20 and 15. Those guys aren't going to have any more kids. There's a 10. Those aren't having kids. Some of our elders are down in this area now. Child, child. Colon's 86 years old now. Our miner is 86. Still goes to work every day right there, right next door. <laughs> Colin's 86. I think we're gonna we're gonna lose him, maybe. It's pretty old for this uh, time period. Oh, look at this. The path is just about in. They got quite a bit of it done over the summer or the uh, winter. Just a little bit more. It's a little slow going, but you know, what are you gonna do? I really wanna see if I can get this crops, this crop thing figured out. Extra farmers is gonna be handy. Take my one of my woodcutters to be a farmer. John, I tell you what, I'm afraid to move anybody off of woodcutting. But you know what, I think I will. Yeah, a woodcutter would be worth it. I've got two. 
They seem to be keeping up with it with less than 2,000 wood in the stockpile, so okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll keep my foresters because the forest is so dang important. We have eight stone cutters, one teacher, one cleric, one blacksmith. The blacksmith seems to be keeping up with things. He hasn't quite reached 100 tools yet, though. I don't see him stop working, but that's fine. That's his job, or her job. Uh, 16 farmers. They are definitely out here. Let's see what we got going on here. Say we've. I'm, I'm wanting to see them work together, where there's two of them working together somewhere. It's two of four, two of four, two of four, two of five. What is two of five? Two of four. Two of four. Let's have these all look the same. Just for my own small little mind. One of three. One of three. Two of four. Okay. So these guys right here need help. You know... We lost two wheat fields. At least portions of the yield from two wheat fields because of the infestation. A big part of me is now currently thinking about getting rid of these two fields and putting in a stockyard right here for the cattle. Or we could move the sheep here and use this as the large stockyard for the cattle. And put a small chicken one right here and with still of the idea of having a path go out into this region here. Which to be honest with you, look at this little space. If we put a forester near here, he could reforest this thing. Put a little gatherer hut out here, and she could just live out here. She could just live right out there. Look at these gravestones in here. They're pretty elaborate looking. Can You, you can't click on it though, huh? That'd be cool. <laughs> See whose grave it is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We lost him. He's passed. Our 86-year-old is out here by himself. Somebody else is working there now. Okay, here we go. There's two people working this one. We got one, one, one. We got one of four there. Two of four. I still need a few more farmers, don't I? Okay, I still need a few people for farming. We're going to have to wait for the population to grow up a little bit, though. 24 kids. That's pretty good. Well, what does this stand for again? Adults, students, and children. So I've got 13 students in school. we got 24 kids. That's good. That's a good number. That's a nice amount of population right there. Uh, yeah, we've got one person... Now, they don't just walk around and employ, do they? They go find something to do? Okay, they do. Okay, they go find something else to do. They went to become a laborer. Okay, our other house is up. Ah, no smoke on this, so we don't need... We're, we're, we're good on our homes. We had another lamb over the winter, it looks like. Nope, just the one lamb. Never mind, sorry. Wrong. I'm going to go ahead and put push... Well, they've almost got these done. Uh, let's pause it. They're almost finished, so when we need them, they should be able to crank them out real quick. Yeah, they're almost all 50% complete. Let's go ahead and get this cemetery taken care of uh, ASAP. So we've got that taken care of. And then we'll get this forester taken care of as well. Firewood's at 1,500. Food's at 6,300. Another forester cabin out here, too. Maybe the cemetery isn't something I should have priority at the moment. Maybe it's the woodcutter I should prioritize. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize the woodcutter. Sorry, guys. We lost another laborer. Someone passed. I don't like this short... Well, it's a shortage of laborers. Maybe I should move a few people off the fields? I just don't like moving people around.
Hmm. I'm hoping the farming thing is working out. Hopefully they come out and take care of this. Let's um let's give them some trees and stuff out here to cut down again. Just kind of get this stuff right here for this building that we're asking them to do, and then they'll reforest the whole dang thing anyways. Gotta have the trees, and there's a bunch of stone back in here too, so we'll just have them get all of this stone too. Right there. And a little bit right there. Nice. Also nice to hear that a lot of you picked the game up again. Forgot how much you love Banished and want to get back into it. I think that's cool. A production tab in Town Hall. Yeah, sure. Production tab. Here it is. Display one year. Is that like so that last year? The most recent year? Oh, sorry. Oh. Two hundred sixty five current, used three hundred sixty eight, produced five hundred and sixty two logs, one hundred and sixty eight stone, fifty one iron. You can see how much we're making losing graphs. Production. I think everything looks really good. Okay, food. Produced 10,291, used 8,800, gotcha, okay. Okay, this is last year, right? And this is our current year? Okay. Current, 5832. Okay. That is a good one to have. All right, thank you. Okay. When I have more time, I'm going to look at that a little bit more so I understand it better, hopefully. <laughs> uh. Are we cobbled? Oh, almost. Just a little bit further to go. Just a little bit more that we haven't quite finished yet right here in front of these houses. Everybody's busy farming at the moment. Oh, we're down to one laborer. Mm, not too pleased about this, having everybody on the farms. For most of the year, it's slowing down production of houses and stuff like that. But I guess that's... I guess you got to decide what you want to do, right? You've got one and one working on this, two and one working on this stuff. It's going to take forever and a day to get some of these buildings finished up. But our farms are looking pretty good. 78% yield, 60, 66. Those aren't even the ones that have two people working them. 68, 62. I'll look and see what the difference is between... This is early summer now, right? We got one person working this one at 52% yield. We've got two people on this at 69% yield. That's only like a little more than a 10% increase. Uh-oh. Died during childbirth. Oh, Rochelle, the blacksmith. Oh, Rochelle. We saw her earlier tonight. Or today. Is that big, that big of a difference? 76, 72? Okay, so... That's one and one. This is one with two. Eh, I guess so. It's a 20% increase, right? It's a 20% increase in what they're producing by having two people on the farms. But now I'm one laborer, one builder. Right, yeah. The yield is the available product created. This is what they've managed to create throughout this cycle. He's managed to do 59% of the field and that's what's out there right I get that what he'll actually bring in depends on how much he picks up out of that field but the field currently has 60% of what it's capable of doing is what I'm understanding
629 last season. It's not showing me uh, the other. Wheat 704. Is that telling me what they're actually going to get this year? That's previous year. 896, almost 1,000. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, the, the what you harvest is based on weather and things of that nature. Here's a 97% yield. 84% yield. So yeah, having the two on there, I mean, that's, that's really close there. And yes, I, I imagine the weather does have an impact on everything too. It's going to vary each year a little bit. I think the other city I'm working on, one year it was great, and the next year I got like a, a quarter of what I had the year before when it came to the uh, product. Uh, harvested Ugh. it hurt a little bit but I just threw a bunch of people back on gathering and hunting and it seemed to save everybody right through the winter it's the only village I've started where I didn't have two people die of starvation at the very beginning uh, okay so we're good here we could get our trees back on these guys are ready to go again that's nice don't have to travel too far for that firewood or that wood in general Wood cutting is at 1,800. That's been keeping us pretty happy so far. We did lose a few people, so our population dropped a little bit. So we're no higher right now than we were last winter. At least I don't think we were. What do we have here in the church? 92. Well, I guess we're almost 10 more than the last time we checked here. Here's late summer. The harvest, is it beginning or are we still... Okay, the harvest has begun down here. He's harvesting. These guys are still doing the hoe action, which is the, the building of the field for the year. I love watching the stuff grow. It's really cool. Okay, our new house that was empty now has a 17 and 14 year old living in it. How do they do on our uh, forester hut here? Let's see. How do we do with just such a... Yeah, they haven't, they haven't even gotten the land cleared yet. Hmm... thinking about taking two of those well I've got three laborers now still it's kind of slowing down the process huh I really don't want to take away from my foresters I don't want to take away from my fishermen my gatherers I don't want to take anybody who's gathering food right now or responsible for food taken away the only one I do would take is probably a couple from the farming we've been getting by with what they've been able to get I'll be patient. I'll be patient. Part of me wants to take a couple off. I feel like maybe my population isn't big enough yet to do the boosted farming. Maybe... Okay. I got an idea. Maybe we close... Maybe we close down five fields. And then fill... One, two, three, four, five fields with um, two farmers each. And see if we get the same amount of product. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, oh, what do you have here? You've got cabbage seeds. 2,500, huh? How many tools do I have? I've got 63. Oh, sorry, I've been to click on cabbage seed. 2,500. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've got enough of this. I've got firewood. Okay, we've got plenty of firewood. I'm going to do 400. I'm going to do mostly, well, I'm not quite, I'm going to lie. I'm going to grab those cabbage seeds, though, because that's going to save my day. Then I'm not going to do what I, I just was talking about doing. 30. That's half my tools. What else will you take from me? You'll take a bunch of stuff from me, won't you? Mushrooms. I think I had... 60 of each of this stuff in here. Oh, he'll take 50 of that, huh? Onions. Berries. Roots. 
Oh, that was supposed to be 50. And venison, I'm going to leave alone. Peppers. I'll take 50 of those too. Where am I at? 20? Okay, so I'm there. Let's take a little more firewood if we can. Uh, that's a little too much. Herb, herbs. Oh, herbs, 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 herbs. Good one, good one. Okay, those are inexpensive. I'm overpaying by 70 units. 265, so what if I do... Another one of those. We're paying by 60 units. That put me over. Um, so let's go maybe... Can I, can I do like 43? 44? Okay, 25. Oh, I'm, I'm over. Radio, come on, man. All right, so now what if I go... Tw what if I go... 10 here? There it is, 2,500. Trade. Okay, I bought my first cabbage seed, right? I now own a cabbage seed. All right, dismiss. Thank you for the cabbage seed. Okay, so the next year, this is going to be cabbage. Uh, cabbage, peppers, wheat. Cabbage. Next cabbage field is going to go over here. And then I'm going to have peppers and maybe... I've got cabbage in here next year. Cabbage over here should be okay. We'll do that. We'll leave the farming just the way it is. Now we're back up to four laborers. So we had a bit of a speed bump there. Thank you for the help there with the trade. Now he's going to restock all that stuff. So we have that much in here again. Yes, he is. Okay, I see that's... Okay. Iron tools, I had a bunch in here, but he's going to have to make more to get that in. And how is our iron supply? 97 iron, 230 stone. So the, the stone yard is starting to pay off. Oh, man. I tell you. I don't know how many times I looked down there. I saw zero. Zero, zero, zero. As a matter of fact, uh, in an effort to get some of these things done a little bit faster, let's take a stone cutter away from there. And we'll put them back on as laborer. Uh, firewood is still holding strong at almost 2,000. And our food is at 10,769. I think that might be the most we've ever had. How's this storage shed working out for them? 64% full. So they are using it to bring in the farm goods. Huh. Oh, and 12 wool. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't know they just did it on their own. Oh, well, man. Let's see here. What do we got? Um, let's make a wool coat. Let's make some wool coats. She could do that. Or he could do that. Whoever is in here. Oh, now's my chance. It's winter time. Now's my chance to get things going, right? They should start working on all this stuff. Hopefully we can get them to get this stuff done. Everybody's coming off the fields. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and prioritize um, this forester hut right here. Yeah, look, everybody's out cutting wood now and stuff. Good, 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 good. All right, that's nice. Finish up the farms, and then you go work on that house for your neighbor. I could probably squeeze two more houses into this little block right here, couldn't I? One here and one there. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. The snow is really pretty. 93. Yeah, we've had a few deaths this year. It was a it was a it was a very cold, it was a very deadly year. 
They're keeping up on the iron. We Our blacksmith, I don't know, I guess he's holding steady. He's doing all right. They're getting it done, I guess. The farms are 11 by 11. I was told that was the ideal size for farms. Sorry if I missed some of the, the, the questions right off the bat. I'm very curious as to how this all works. It's a lot of help today. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed all the tips and stuff. It's been very helpful. Obviously, the community for Banished was pretty good, huh? People had a really good time with it. Looks like our cobblestone pathway is all the way in here. I think in their off time now, let's have them work on the one that leads out to the bridge. We'll just put it down, and when they get to it, they get to it. No hurry. Beautiful. Uh, maybe we do... Uh, eh, we'll hold off on that over there right now. How's the firewood doing? 1,400. Just watching that firewood. Our food is doing fantastic at over 10,000. We're in late autumn. I'm eager to have cabbages grow. Should we speed things up a bit? Thanks for putting up with uh, the slower pace of Banished. I know there's a lot of, <laughs> you know, times 10 out there, but uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I enjoy playing, I think, a little bit slower. Uh, here we go. We're working on the uh, road here. Looks like maybe we are. I don't know. Baskets of food still sitting out here in the winter time. We get any more lambs? Oh, we did. There's another baby lamb right there. Little lamb. Bah. Bah. Love it. That is good stuff right there. Oh, they've whacked down all the trees I had them cutting out here, huh? All right, let's not have them go that way anymore. This is almost decimated as well. We really need that. I was going to put a forester back here, huh? No, a forester here. There they are. This is where they're working right now. Almost there. That'll be extremely handy to have. I'm going to go ahead and just remind them that, hey, I'm thinking that needs to be done. As quick as you can get to it. It's winter. It's winter. So we've got a lot of extra workers. Yeah, it really slows down in the summer. Spring, summer is time, huh? When you've got everybody on farming. But I see the benefits of that. We're now up to 56 adults. Back up to six laborers. I'm going to put, a guy, put another builder out there. So now we have cabbage, wheat, and peppers. We talked about an orchard too, didn't we? Hmm. So we could get the tavern up and running. I think the tavern would help with keeping them happy as well. Did we get this path done here? I think they did. I think they whacked that all together already. Impressive. Okay, next path is going to go out towards the uh, stone cutter, so we can get that kind of material brought back to us quickly. Quickly, quicky. There we go. Let's go on out here to the stone cutter. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Twenty-seven out of thirty-five graves. There it looks like they're now utilizing all the trees back in here. Ninety-six members in church. I'm assuming that ninety-six is probably pretty much everybody in town. <laughs> no coats. Wool coat. There, she's done. They're done. They've done what they can do.
Uh, wool coats. Where do I go to see how many wool coats they made? Um, I guess I go to that production tab, right? Now, how did I get to that production tab? How did I get to the production tab? Do we have anything in maybe in storage? Nothing there. Okay, they were just working again right there. We've had two lambs now. We're up to five. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's good stuff. Nice. Trees are coming down. Iron's keeping up with everything, so we don't have to worry about that. They've even got stone piling up out here. Look at this. This is nice. Holy cow. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Finally ahead in the stone front. Enough to even make roads with. Well, now's the time to start upgrading some of the houses too, right? Now is the time to save us on firewood. And the houses we upgrade, the people who are ejected will go stay at the boarding house while we do that. Since they're such a big helpers here, let's go ahead and do... Wait. I'm gonna wait. I want to see some of these other buildings up first. Okay, we've got another forester. I want to slow time back down a little bit too. Okay, that house they moved in right away. This house is sitting empty, so we don't need the houses right now. I noticed that as soon as we need a house, smoke pops out of it. Yeah, so we've got two extra houses at the moment. And there's the forester who's going to start working on this area. So we have enough houses at the moment. Maybe, uh, let's, uh, oh, and we got a forester up here too, so I'm going to put another forester out. Now I'm down to two laborers again. But we've got people building our forest back up again, so we always have firewood to chop down. Like right now, we're, well, that's, that's the gatherer stuff. Now we're coming down here to get these trees here. These are my next group of trees for cutting. And it uh, looks to me like we could probably clear out town again. Keep them close to home while they're digging all that stuff up, you know? Would you guys mind if I ran... Oh, never mind. I've got 10 minutes before my stream ends. I was going to go get some coffee, but I've got so tied up on this, uh, having a good time, that I have not uh, done my typical one-hour break. There we go. This should keep, I don't know, will cabbage stretch from here to there? What do you think? Will that, um, you know, cause me problems here? I feel like orchards is the next progression I need to get to so we could make uh, brews for the tavern. Oh my gosh. Row, row, row your boat, buddy. Here he comes. It was the trader. He's like ready for him. What you got, buddy? Uh, where's my cows, buddy? Where's my cows? I want my cows. I need cows. We're chickens. One of the two. How we doing here? Uh, two of four farmers. They're at 79% yield, and we are in early summer. I'm going to speed things back up again, since you guys were so patient earlier today. We'll, we'll have a little more speed in here for the rest of the episode. Still shy of a few farmers, but I'm going to go ahead and hold off. I'm going to hold off on getting any more farmers in here. They're keeping up with the food demand. Firewood looks like it may have dropped off a little bit, but we'll see. I 
I like my folks to have a job and then they stick with it. He is planting a bunch of trees out here. If we need iron, I'm going to have them actually come out here next and grab this stuff. Matter of fact, we can have them get the stone out here too if they want. You know what? No, I'm not going to have them do the stone. Let's just leave that there. We've got a stone cutters. we got a quarry now, so I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. 99 members. We're almost at 100 people. I'm assuming everybody goes to church. Our school, 17 students in school. Pretty good. Oh, that's it. Town Hall. Duh. That's where I had to go. We've produced 195 stone. We used 80. We've currently produced 56 stone. We've used 87. Total 300, 304. Wow, 304 stone we had just a little bit ago. All right, that's cool. I see. How's the town looking graphically? Still steady as can be, huh? Just kind of a nice steady flow. A couple of dips here and there. But for the most part, population is just ramping up slowly. Adults steady. Everything is steady. Students, children, yeah. It's just nice and easy going. Nomads, I w why wouldn't you want to live in this town? What the hell's wrong with Condoria? Why doesn't anyone want to live here? Click on your coat maker up at the top of that tab. Click on my coat maker. What, what am I? Am I in in the town hall here? Eighty nine percent clothing. Nomads only come when you don't need them. Oh, that's too bad. I would think they'd be a nice little uh, wrench to throw in the thing. Okay, click on your coat maker up at the top of that tab. There'll be a circle that you can click on that will show production. Okay, see, I see what you're saying. Thank you very much. Didn't think about that. 24 wool coats. Nice. Okay. Our people are going to stay healthy. Let's see, we've got half a heart down. Happiness is a little low as well. So why would they be losing any happiness at all? What can I grab here? Oh, she's happy. That's our cleric. How are the herbs? Maybe that's what we need to look at, is our herbs. We have 492 herbs. That hasn't changed at all, but maybe that needs to change. Oh, maybe we should put the hospital in. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We're getting to the 100 mark. Is that the, is that the next kind of general thing we need to get put in? Is the hospital. Should we put it right across from the cemetery? Oh, my God. Okay. Town is actually going this way. We're doing it. I don't care what anybody says. We're putting the hospital right over here. Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! The hospital. Forgot all about that. We need a physician. I love it. Look at this little town. Look at our little village. People run around everywhere. Busy, busy, busy. Firewood, 1400. Okay. Food is at 9380. How are we doing here? That's one. I'm looking for the double workers. Have they already harvested all this? Same. Current oh, that's cabbage. 868 cabbage. 868 peppers last year. These guys are done already, and it's just now late autumn. Oh, that is a huge benefit. Normally, they're picking this stuff up until winter hits. Wheat, wheat. Okay, 868 is look, look what they're getting off the field at the moment. Uh, peppers uh, a little lower this year than last year. Let's where's one of our one banger fields here? There it is. You're getting 420 and 448, so you increased a little bit this year over last year, but not a very significant increase. So it looks like you get double. Where's the wheat one? 
That's cabbage, wheat. 868 wheat off of that one field having two farmers on it as opposed to... That's not a good one to use. Um, this one here. 784 this year. 364 last year. Huh. Well, it is better to have the two guys, two people working on it at the same time. For sure. That's nice. Okay. Alright, so we won't mess with the farming anymore. My laborers drop off in the spring, summer, fall, but they come back with a vengeance late fall and through the winter where we can get some building done and get a little bit of growth going on and in the spring summer they go back to the fields and help out with that there we got our forester working here he is filling this in with trees for us for future use we're having the town cut down again right now because we needed lumber we've got a forester out here yeah forester out here doing this guy uh, looks like this might be our... I don't have a forester here? Yeah, I do. There's a forester right there. He's been working on this guy, so we're going to be able to use him soon. And then this area is starting to come back up with trees and repopulate with trees, so we'll be using this here soon, too. Oh, man. All right. It's coming together. I love it. That's great. Thank you for all the help. Fantastic. Really, really good sound advice today. I appreciate it very much. I've had a great time learning more about Banished and how things work. It's really a good time. It's so nice to just sit here and point and click and watch and, you know, I spend a lot of time in here. Look at this. Look at this insanity. There's people everywhere. <laughs> I love it. That is so cool. Look at him hop. Look at him jump over that hill. Little dude. This road is actually helping quite a bit, having this sun uh, cobbled up. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get them to go ahead and get us a path going out this way. We're going to put our cattle out here eventually. Maybe even a few houses, you know? This is the ranch property out here, guys. The ranch property. I'll keep our current farm plots, although I have a feeling we're going to have to add more. Uh, and where we're going to do that, um, well, that's going to be forested with trees. I could probably get a couple of, well, I could probably get a good farm plot here. Something for cattle and maybe put like a little ranch house back here. And this will be their kind of their area to do their thing. Houses are going to start going out this away, Out here. We're going to start building the town out here a bit more. More room for houses there. You know what I should do? I've got fields going that way. I should do some fields down this way. That way, if we do get a disaster like a tornado or something, and it wipes all this out, I've got backup farms across the way to kind of limp by. Oh, somebody died. Carlin the Stonecutter was crushed by a rock. Oh, man. I hate to hear that. You guys need to be careful over there. Tree's coming right back. Look at that. Tree's coming back. This is looking good for cutting again here real soon. Yeah, next episode we should be great. Uh, I'm not going to be doing tomorrow, but the uh, I think it's Wednesday. I've got Banish scheduled for the morning and the afternoon streams. So if you guys can join me for those, that would be fantastic. It's on the, it's on my Twitch channel. It's going to be um, uh, 9 to 11 in the morning, Arizona time, Arizona time, and then 1 to 3 in the afternoon. We'll keep up with the series here and, and keep it moving right along. And what do we got today? Do we have cattle or anything that we can have fun with at the very end of the day? Uh, there's a... No, that's squash, squash. Oh, there's a couple of chickens. <gasps> chickens. Yeah, there we go. 120. That's all it's going to cost me? Oh, you know what? Give me three chickens. Give me all three of your chickens. How's the firewood? We're at 750. Ooh, we took a hit. Um, hold on a second. Slow that down. Get another woodcutter. Get another woodcutter back on duty. First of all. And let's go ahead. We've got three chickens. It's going to be only 60 bucks, huh? That's cheap. We'll work on what the gatherers like to grab for us. What, like 20? That's 180 bucks I need, huh? 20... There's a hundred berries. 
roots. Oh, he'll only buy the 50, huh? It's 90. Firewood. I'm going to go ahead and do firewood for the rest. Oh, wow, that went way up real fast. How about um, 20 firewood? What's that do? Okay, how about 25 firewood? No, that's way too much. 15 firewood. Still too much. Uh, tw 12? Uh, overpay by 8? Sure. What the heck. Uh, trade. Give me them chickens and I will see you next time you're in town, buddy. Thank you for the chickens. Alright, my chickens have got to be someplace where I can hear them all the time. Um, oh, this guy could be our chicken farmer. We can't put chickens back here because it's not going to fit too well. Oh, where can I have my chickens so I can hear them all the time? I'm going until I get this done. Oh, you know what? We're going to be spending a lot of time out here in the farm. Let's do... Let's do a pasture right here. These people are going to be driven crazy by the sound of chickens. Oh. Oh, sorry. Hmm, that's not much room. Yeah, that's not going to work. I need something a little bit bigger than that. Um, hmm. <laughs> what if we do something over here for the chickens? Well, the pasture's too... Whatever. What does it mean the pasture is too large there? That's pretty big for chickens. Okay, uh, that's as far as I can go. I'm going to come back even one more uh, right there. And then I want to prioritize this right now. Let's get that going, you guys. And then we are going to put our chickens in. Uh, see you later, Morris. I'm going to go ahead and stick around a little bit longer here. I need to get my chickens in place. Uh, oh, the hospital. We need a physician. Bam. Consider yourself physicianed. Next episode, since the stone is coming in pretty nicely, I think I'm going to go start uh, upgrading some of the houses inside the village itself and get them um, set up more for the uh, uh, harsher winters by getting the, the houses upgraded to stone. This could take a little while. Let's go ahead and speed up. Let's go all the way with it. 105 people in uh, in our population now. Nobody's really uh, come out here yet to do anything on this, despite the fact it is a priority. There we go. That stockpile is 100% full. No wonder. They're having to walk a long ways to put that down. Okay, so maybe we need a stockyard. Okay, this is going to take too long, you guys. It's going to take me a little bit. I've got to get a stockyard built and stuff like that. I didn't realize the stockyard was full. So we're going to call it right there. I will get the chickens um, set up. Well, you know what? I could just stop right now. And we can continue. Our world, our banished village, Condoria. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Again, thanks for all your help. Have an awesome, fantastic, superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.